what's up? Happy Memorial Day. Happy weekend to everybody. Happy spring. It's a perfect day here in the park. In Queens, New York, where I do my uh, my channel from. What do you call this? Uh, not a podcast? I don't know. A vlog or something? A vlog sounds weird. I don't want to be a vlog. Anyway, uh, our show. So, anyway. Um, I'm feeling a little awkward here. You know, it's not my usual uh, audience, you know. So, I'm loosening up a little bit. Anyway. Um, wish me luck. I'm looking for uh, a change of uh, venues. I'm possibly going to move from the 10th floor to the 22nd floor, which will mean no more sirens and external noise, uh, you know, in my apartment, which is a good thing. Uh, the videos I could do much more often. I don't have to wait for quiet moments and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, there'll be a lot less noise up there. So, yeah, you know, we'll see if that goes through uh, this summer. And, um, just to keep you guys, uh, you know, abreast on what's going on, um, we're waiting for the uh, run number two of the KTG Custom Hats, which is my hat brand. Uh, they're being made right now in uh, Quebec, Canada, at the uh, McGill Hat Factory. To my specifications, our specifications. These hats are designed by the group um, Hats and Guitars. Show your hats is the name of our Facebook group. So anyway, um, they're actually co-designed. Uh, there's one hat there which is completely designed by a person. Um, I gave him the honor because I like his taste so much and he's always been a great customer too. I thought he earned the right to uh, design his own dream hat. And that's going to be a custom that we do every, uh, every year that one customer is going to get that honor of designing their own custom dream hat and uh, then I'm going to offer it to the group, you know. So if it's something completely way out, you know, like a purple Hamburg with like a yellow band and lime green binding, I'm probably going to say, you know, tone it down a little bit. But um, the thing is, I can't order just one custom hat. It's got to be a bunch. Otherwise, there is a, uh, a penalty, um, which is the reason why certain other brands that come from the same factory are twice the price of mine. So if I do it like a regular hat shop, you know, models and everybody orders like, you know, we order a case of them and this and that, it's much cheaper than every single hat being ordered with different specifications. The, the difference is I might spend two or three hours telling my, uh, my person over in Canada the specifications of my models, you know, the New Yorker, the Comet, the Sky Piece, uh, the Galaxy, the Nostalgia, the Nostalgia Premier, um, all of those hats, I have to tell him every single specification. You know, the weight of the felt, which kind of sweatband, the width of the ribbon, the width of the binding, the type of bow that's going to be on there. Every single spec. So there's, you know, like an hour to go on each hat. And um, when I start doing multiple models, like, you know, nine or ten models in different colors and stuff, it takes us a few hours, you know, like three, four hours. Now, so if everybody did a custom hat, custom specs, it's gonna keep the two of us on, on the phone, you know, from like 9 p.m. to like 3 a.m. or something. It's a serious, uh, we have to dictate all of those specs on every single hat. That's the reason why my hats are, you know, 285 with shipping, which is basically, shipping for me costs me about $50. What I do is I pay it for you guys. So it's a lot less. You guys are paying like, you know, about 235 a hat. That's basically it. So um, I'm able to do that hat because of that. If we did every single hat custom, the price would be well above 400 450 maybe five or something so that's that's not what i'm looking to do with this company i want this company to be an alternative to stetson to a Krubra, to salentino to uh you know mcgill and all of those major hat brands that we have to choose from now um cygnus borsellino um guerra all those companies are great but i want to um 
be a different choice where you can spend a reasonable about, amount of money that people are used to spending for fur felt hats and get something very special. You know, if you want a light powder blue hat with white binding, you know, and a two inch gangster ribbon on there and a big high crown, we can make that happen. Um, no other companies can do that, really, unless you go completely custom, which is generally you're looking at $500, $550 to about a thousand bucks for a custom hat, you know, or more. So, depending if it's, you know, rabbit or beaver and stuff, rabbit hat, you're definitely like five, five fifty at least. Um, so, like I said, um, we're going to try to uh, finish up this run now. And before these hats come back, this uh, KTG run number two, I'm going to start taking orders for a run number three hat. It's going to be something brand new, something that everybody might like. It's different. It's not the old vintage, uh, super vintage styles like I'm doing, or the sky piece. It's one particular hat that's gonna come in uh, uh, two different brim sizes, okay? A two and a half inch and a two and three quarter inch, okay? And it's also going to be available in an open crown version, okay? So it's basically two brim sizes, two crown types. It's kind of like four vari variations of the same hat, and that's it. I'm only doing that hat. Um, you know, in, in maybe a few colors, and that is it. That's going to be the next run number three, and I'm going to start taking orders for them soon. Is the softy? We're going to take orders so that they're here right at the end of the summer. Okay, so when before the fall is here, or right at the beginning, you'll have that hat, and uh, that's about it. When run number two hats come in, I'll be able to photograph those hats and then put them on my website. Then my website will open. The idea is that I did not want to open my website and launch it yet with computer mock-ups of KTG hats. I don't think that's fair. Right now, the only hats I have to photograph are the mist and the mint green sky piece. So very shortly, we're gonna have every hat, you know, like, you know, five, seven different hat types you know, all different, uh, you know, three or four colors each. And we're gonna photograph all of them, put them in a website, and then I'm gonna get a whole bunch of Capus Headwear stuff too, which is a company that's local right here in New York that I just personally like a lot because they're classical. We'll do their summer hats, their, you know, uh, Panamas and linen caps in the summer. Uh, maybe we'll add some more stuff like some, you know, uh, Italian uh, linens, we'll do a coconut straw, a boater if you want. And then, uh, you know, when winter comes, we'll do all those same hats, but we'll, you know, we'll move into some capus items like some uh, tweed and herringbone caps, some, you know, apple caps, uh, newsboys, big apples, uh, some Italian ivies and Italian newsboys. Uh, we'll do those. They come in wool and they also come in linen. They do a nice Italian imported line too. And uh, we'll expand it. You know, we'll do some light felt crushable hats from them and the KTG, KTG line. Um, I can do the McGill line, but I'd rather do the KTG line. Also on the website, we're going to be wholesaling some other items like uh, Cap Banu. We're going to be doing hat brushes clip-on hat bands, okay, in solid colors. They're gonna be cotton, not silk. And uh, a few other items like that. Uh, we're gonna be offering things like consultations, hat steaming, hat shaping, and uh, all kinds of goodies on the website. Plus uh, some vintage hats too. I'm gonna be selling off all my vintage hats very cheaply. If anybody uh, sees anything uh, that they're interested in, let me know. Getting rid of all the vintage hats, and I'm only going to keep a few special gems. Uh, maybe things like uh, Alessandria's and Open Roads, you know, from uh, you know the 50s and 60s and stuff like that. But you know, just uh, one or two choice items, not a lot. Maybe between two and five vintage hats in stock at a time, instead of like you know 40, 50 now that I have. Uh, but that's about it guys. Um, KTG hats are in production. They're working on the brims. They're cutting the brims and blocking them uh, as we speak. Certain models are going out, certain colors. 
uh, the open crown hats, the comets, the camel hats. So uh, you'll see certain things coming out a little sooner than others, but uh, they're coming out soon, guys. Uh, anybody who hasn't uh, finished their KTG bill, if they still owe their second half, eh, it's getting closer to the time. You know, you should think about getting that in. Most of you guys are all settled up, so I thank you so much. Um, I truly uh, appreciate and have a lot of gratitude to every single one of you guys. Um, I've been your hat salesman now for over 30 years. I've been your YouTube internet hat nerd guru guy uh, for about 10 years now, I think. Uh, I don't know, 8 to 10 years, 9 to 10, uh, maybe 12, I don't know. And I've been your... Uh, your Facebook group humble leader nerd for about I don't know since September you know, not that long half a year so I just like to say thanks for it for everybody for your friendship for your uh, participation in the group and, uh, and for everything and I wish you a happy peaceful and joyous restful holiday Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching, this is Kevin. Uh, if you'd like to stay in touch with me and everything I've been doing, please join our new Facebook group called Hats and Guitars, Show Your Hats. It's a cool place to just show your cool hats, meet nice people, and uh, learn a few things. Thank <laughs> you.